my friends and fellow silver stackers, Silver Shaker here and welcome back for another video. And it's that time of the week again, another parcel has arrived in the post and it's time for us to get stuck into this bad boy. As you can see this one is rather large, uh, which bodes well. There should be nothing less than 15 ounces inside here. And um, if there is less than 15 ounces then well there will be some issues. Um, as a lot of you all know, the uh, yellow tape around the boxes now signify where this um, parcel has come from. And it's that company in Belgium again, goldsilver.be. It's definitely the cheapest place that I've found to purchase um, silver um, inside the UK. Um, so with that said, without further ado, let's uh, get stuck into this bad boy. So, as always, let's grab her by the waist and spin her around. Um, and we'll try and find the perfect angle of attack in here. Um, this box actually does seem to be rather well packaged. The tape leads all the way to the edges here. So us with our rather blunt kitchen knife might have a little struggle on our hands. But um, we'll keep fighting away to, uh, to eventually get into this bad boy. But let's just slit along here. Oh, stuck. Might need to go in the other side instead. I did see um, a few of you actually left me a comment um, in the previous videos on which knives to invest in. So perhaps we'll have to pick up a new one shortly. Um, I'll definitely shorten this process down, maybe even by a minute or something, honestly. It takes me a good minute to get into these boxes with this knife. It's so poor, but, you know, it builds the suspense. It builds the suspense, so that's fine. Okay, we're in. Here we go. And let's flip this bad boy down. And we have a lot of packaging peanuts in here. So um, let's remove this top layer of cardboard. Let's get this out of the way. And there is a lot of packaging in here. As always with goldsilver.be, they do a fantastic job with the, uh, with the packaging of these. Um, considering obviously where they come from inside Europe, it's always appreciated that when they arrive here in the UK, they're in very good condition. So um, there's one package out and here's the second. Let's just have a little dig about in here, make sure there's nothing else. Maybe make a little bit of mess, just for the fun of it. I was saying that just for the fun of it, I have major OCD, so this is going to really annoy me cleaning this up later, but there we go. <laughs> Let's just sweep these out of the way. And we'll get on to these two packages. Which one to go for first? Mm, possibly this one on the right. Looks a little bit smaller. Um, so let's unwrap this. I don't know what this is actually. It's this sort of soft paper, which is, which is quite nice. This will get saved for future use. I always keep the little packages like this. I'm a bit I'm a bit weird like that, but here we go. Here's the first package of the unboxing. Let's open this bad boy up. And there should be, if I am correct, five coins in here. So let's drag these out. There's one, two, yep. That's five, and it's empty. And here we go. So here are the pickups for this week, and it's the Rwandan Roosters. And straight off the bat, wow. Okay. The front of these isn't as pretty as the um, as the reverse. If I'm honest, I mean, it's pretty basic, but just for this reverse, just wow. The mosaic um, design that they've gone for on these is absolutely fantastic. And in my opinion, this is the best looking lunar coin out there. It's just absolutely unbelievable. This is the first year um, that they've done this. Um, so we'll definitely be picking up next year's as well. But as I said, I've purchased five of these. I, I tend to do that. I tend to get everything in sort of fives or tens because um, of my major OCD. But um, these are just absolutely gorgeous. And... Yeah, just fantastic, fantastic coins. And here's the fifth one. And they're all in really, really good shape. I'm sort of debating whether or not to take them out of this little plastic um, sleeve that they're in. But from the videos and stuff I've seen of you guys, you tend to suggest just leaving them in there. So um, maybe we'll do that. But onto this little second package over here. And as you can see, this is a tube. I actually ordered the tube separately. So it's a bit... Um, well, I was about to say it's a bit weird, but it's, it's kind of nice that they've just popped the coin straight in here. And you can see the top of the top of the tube here. And that is the emblem of um, the Royal Britannia. So you know what's in this bad boy. And if your maths are 
up to scratch and I have already said there's 15 ounces in this box. We can already see five on the table so you can guess how many's in here. I'll just pop this bad boy open that'll annoy me this little tape. I'm gonna have to go around here and just remove all of that tape um, just so the coin is, um, the tube is nice and clean. Um, so it's more packing peanuts in here which I appreciate because obviously the coins move about and rattle but let's just pull these out of here. As you can see there, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That's my first Britannia, but wow, okay. Love the radial designs behind. Um, just fantastic there on the back. And there we go, all nice and shiny, no issues. I'm, I'm not really too fussed about the condition of these, to be honest. This is purely for weight. This is um, just standard government issue bullion, but for, for that type of coin, this design is absolutely fantastic. Um, there's actually I've never noticed that before there's Nathan written at the bottom of the coin there I have no idea why if any of you guys know then please let me know but um, on the front there Queenie she manages to get around she really does she's on so much coinage now um, I'm not sure how much maybe she is on the most coinage of any monarch in history I don't know um, again if any of you guys know uh, if any of you guys know then um, please let me know but um, she seems to get her face around on all these coins. So there we go. There's nine and there's the 10th one. Um, so let's bring this up for a closer look. And again, Queenie. The um, sort of dimpled kind of effect behind her face. I, I kind of like it, but a lot of you guys don't uh, for some, some reason. Uh, there's the back. Oh, and sorry, Your Majesty, I appear to have dropped you on your face. I do apologize. But um, yeah, just, wow, the, again, just for a standard government issue coin, the design is fantastic. So there we go. There's 10 ounces and another five up here. Just the roosters. This is obviously the main purchase this week. Just absolutely fantastic. I, I could look at this all day long, honestly. Just, wow, the design just really pops. But there you go. There's another 15 ounces added to the stack. And as always, we'll, um, we'll do a little cut here and uh, we'll be back with the pricing for them all. So stay tuned. And welcome back. And as you can see, I've popped the Britannias back in their little tube there, which was an absolute nightmare. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a little bit OCD, so I had to make sure they were all facing the right way. But honestly, see, trying to get them into that tube, just frustrating Anyway, uh, down to the uh, pricing out of this, which is the reason why we're here. Um, this order in total came to £280.43, which works out at £18.70 per ounce. So again, our £19 target, we're 30 pence under that, which is, um, which is a good thing. Um, obviously, the roosters cost a little bit more than the uh, Britannia's. Um, each rooster came to £23.19 and the Britannia's actually cost quite um, quite cheaply. It's uh, £16.45 each, which, uh, which works out very, very well. Um, but in total, adding these 15 ounces, that takes us up to 59.5 ounces now, guys. So we're well, well on our way to reaching our 100 ounce target before the end of the year. Um, just another 40.5 ounces to go and another four months to do it. Um, maybe three and a half, three and a half to go. Um, but we're close, we're getting there. So that should be achievable. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, I do want to say actually one more thing. We're coming up to 100 subscribers. So Thank you very much for your continued support, guys. Over the over the last few weeks, it honestly has been tremendous, and you guys have made me feel so welcome in this community. So I'm almost up to 100. I think we're just a few short now. So um, an announcement will be imminent on a 100 subscriber giveaway. So um, stay tuned for that. That will be exciting. Um, I do have a few prizes in mind, so it might take my total ounces down a little bit, you pesky people. But um, we'll be getting that sorted shortly. Anyway, um, as I said, thanks for stopping by. Thank you again for the um, support. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Maybe smash that little like button if you like what you saw. And remember always to subscribe for future content. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.